I'm on my way to connect with Karen and her cat, Mr. Weasley. Now, from what I understand, Karen feels that Mr. Weasley's mischief is just getting to be too much for her. He's ripping up furniture and generally causing chaos every time Karen turns her back to the point where she just doesn't feel like she can have a life anymore. Now, is that the case or is Mr. Weasley reaching out for help? I got a hunch, but let's go find out. How are you? Hey. Oh, I gotta do a secret knock. How are you doing? Hi. I'm nice Jackson. To see you. I'm Karen. Good to meet Come you, Karen. On. Look, there's a cat. Hi there, Mr. Weasley. First thing I'm struck by walking into this house is how small it is. It's really tight in here, and we've got a cat with a lot of energy. I see that the second I meet him. What's going on with Mr. Weasley? Well, he's incredibly destructive, and I think he gets bored really easily. Hey! You're saying he's just, he's everywhere. He's everywhere. Which is odd for a Persian. Yeah. Those guys are usually kind of the, hey, bring me food, you know, kind of guys. My apartment looked a lot different before him, but I've had to adjust. Where the knives are right there, um, yeah. there used to be salts and peppers and like a whole thing was filled. And now there's nothing mm. because he knocked them all off and all okay. the salts went out on the ground and all the lids broke. There's not an inch of this place where he doesn't go. So show me what's been destroyed. Uh, well, this right here, I have no control over that. I've tried really hard. I tried everything everybody told me to. So he scratches furniture. Yes. Okay, what else? What's mainly destructive is what you don't see. I've gone through three rugs. So. What's up, Mr. Weasley? Nice tie. You said that you uh, that you adopted him. I did. And what uh, do you know his story before he came to you? It's very limited. I guess he was living with a family before. I adopted Mr. Weasley about three years ago. And I only know that his previous family couldn't handle him, and so they dumped him at some shelter. From eight years old, he is really active. He looks like he's in great shape. I'm beginning to get an idea about the challenges with Mr. Weasley, but I need to know more about Karen to see how I can help her with this high energy cat. So you come home, you know he's bored. What do you, what's your go-to? I have toys that are like this, yeah. and I'll go like that, or sometimes he likes this shoelace type thing. We'll just play with this. This usually will entertain him for a while. Oh, he doesn't really care about any of these here. Why are they here? So Karen says she does play with her cat, and then she shows me her toys, and they consist of string and one beat up toy. Come on, that is not anything that's going to occupy or thrill any cat. I think that he would like me to have so much more energy than I actually do have. It's annoying to me. I feel like a single mom sometimes. There's only so much I can play. Like, I do not want to play all the time. And lately, as of the last like six months or so, I'm just like, you know what, I don't think I'm, I, I can do this anymore. Like, I cannot just come home and play with him for like six hours. Let's say I didn't come over here. Are you saying that th there's a chance that you would rehome him? I've been seriously considering it lately. I know how horrible it is to rehome cats like this, but I'm kind of at that point where I just feel like opening the door and saying, go, oh, just go. Like, wow. I cannot. All right, well, that's a whole new twist on things. It's, so, uh, getting to be too much. Karen's actions versus what she's telling me are two totally different stories. I mean, she's obviously made an effort to curb Mr. Weasley's behavior through catification with cat scratchers, toys, and cat trees. But on the other hand, she's telling me that she's ready to open the door for Mr. Weasley, and that's concerning. I'm afraid that she's given up on him, and if that's the case, I'll find Mr. Weasley a new home. So I guess I need to know your, your level of willingness, because if you want to dig in, we should. If not, I just, I might as well go. And take Mr. Weasley with me. Well, I would actually, because I've invested a lot of emotion into this animal. I can't see anyone else. That's a funny way of saying you him. love him. Since Karen's telling me she's committed, I want to show her how to expend Mr. Weasley's energy through high value play. Now, high value play isn't about just letting him run around. It's about the hunt. It's about focusing in on his prey and letting those primal instincts out. You see this, what he's doing right now? That's great too. Cat exercise doesn't necessarily mean just running laps around the house. This level of like attention that he's paying to this right now is perfect. Now watch, see if we can get him down from the table again. I've never gotten him something like this before. Right, because he's a ground prey cat. Many Himalayan cats are known to be bush dwellers as opposed to tree dwellers who like to play up high, and that helps explain why Mr. Weasley is running all across the floor and is so interested in causing destruction with the furniture and the carpet. Look at him go, see now, 
we got him going. And every time he jumps up on a table, that's a little more energy expended. I wanna sit down with Karen and go over the homework, see how everything else is going. So let's take a look at what you've been up to. That's what I like to see. Yeah. He likes that. Chilling out, watching the cars, his favorite. And place. his fish. Yes. Oh my God, and he's pawing at it. Oh. Must God. have that. That's great. Weasley is in heaven. Like... Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. Exactly what I wanted. He loves Good. It. Now, has he been doing as much craziness in here? No, and everything being in this room, he now focuses on this room more than the kitchen, which is what I was concerned about. That's an amazing point. Do you notice the spices on the spice rack? Oh, I can, I'm so proud of that. I'd be able to put spices on there now because he doesn't go for it. Also, now he only scratches the scratching posts. He doesn't scratch my furniture. You made the value of this area so much higher to him that this area is out. The homework looks great. Mr. Weasley loves his play space and he's addicted to the aquarium. And this was exactly the idea to keep him occupied in as passive a way as possible. Hello. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Hi. Ooh, look, it's Wonderland yes. in here, man. You look around this place and it is one cat TV station after another, one catification rest stop and, and activity spot after another, passive engagement. You can still be sitting and be a cat and hunt in your head. That's what I wanted for Weasley and she totally nailed that. Man. I know. Cat house, Karen. Literally the cat, cat house, house right man. There is a lot of great stuff happening There here. is. At the very beginning, I was this close to getting rid of Mr. Weasley and now there's no way that's happening.